Another one to add to the junk pile? <laughs> Hey, what's up my peoples, MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Scrap Hook. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of Scrap Hook in his alt mode, Legacy Evolution. He is a Deluxe Class, Class Blue, blue Class A, Class Blue Hornet, Class A, Deluxe Transformers. On the side of the box, we have the lovely Legacy Evolution uh, to work. On this side, we have some nice images of a scrap hook, looking all scrap hooky. Up top, we got a QR code. You want to scan it? Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. Obligatory product shots, Evo Fusion. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Scrap Hook, and we have us a new Junkion in our midst, and I think he is pretty, pretty cool. And here he is in his robot mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his Junkion abs, but at that Junkion noggin. There it is. Oh no, a pretty nicely done head sculpt there. I do quite dig it. Autobot symbol right there on the chest. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Got some exhaust pipes. These are a separate piece. Which just plug into his shoulders. He's got a nice murder wheel right here on his form. Again, this is a separate piece as well. On this side, we have a, a hook for, you know, scrap hooking. Makes sense. Makes all the sense in the world. Again, another separate piece. And moving down the body. Got big old legs. Big old feet, which are basically the front grill. And move up the back, you can see. Pretty clean, got a bit of a backpack there, but it's nice and compact. You can keep his lunch in there, why not? Dare I say why not, but all in all, I think he looks pretty good in my opinion. Now articulation wise, uh, the head can just rotate. That's all you get, you just get pure rotation, 360, and that is it. You can kind of move the head up, but that's more for transformation than anything, so that's all you get there. Arms can do a full 360, they can move in and out. Um, you get bicep rotation, you do have a double jointed elbow, that's more so for transformation. You can get some extra range of movement out of the elbow, but not full range of movement. Uh, you do have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation, legs can move forward that far. You can do the big boots. You can go back that far, outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. Um, you don't have thigh rotation, but you do have rotation right below the knee, um, as far as the knee joint itself goes. You have about 90 degrees of bend on the feet. Um, they can move up a little bit if you have these pieces not in. You can move them up a little bit more, can move down, and you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, I did already point out some. We have the uh, little exhaust pipes, which are separate pieces. The murder wheel. We have the hook for scrap hooking. The hook itself is a separate piece as well. You can rotate that around as you wish. But he does also have some hidden weapons. We come here and we can pop these out on either side. And he can hold these as uh, blasters. So you got two blasters he can hold. And of course, all these weapons can be plugged in wherever you want. There are ports pretty much everywhere on them. Ports here, ports here. You got ports on the back. So you can arm him up however you wish. And he can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff. Unfortunately, not blue compatible, but hey, that's all right. So there you have that. And now for comparis hunt here he is with our standard unit of measurement here with earthrise prime so you can see how that works out with his wave mate hot shot just because we'll be using him a little bit later you can see how that works out and we can bring in retgar actually we can get a little family photo going here because we have retgar we have junk heap and if you got the uh, the non-F Productions kit for Retgar to make him into another Junkion, we have us a nice little uh, nice little Junkion army going here. That's quite cool, quite quite cool. We got a little family, a little Junkion family, and it's precious, oh so precious. So 
Mm, there you go. And can Scraphook ride his junkie on Brethren? Yes, he can. And we have some sweet B-roll here to show that off. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So, first thing we need to do is we need to uh, just remove the accessories here. Just take the murder wheel off. Remove these. Remove these. Now, technically, if you don't want to take these off, you don't have to. They end up in this port in alt mode. So if you want, you can just kind of leave them. You have to invert them. You have to swap sides. So you can kind of have that going on or just leave them like this if you really wanted to. If you want that look going so you don't have to pop them off. But again, that's totally up to you. Do what you want to do. But I'm going to take them off just to make life a little bit easier. And let's take these and just plug them back where they were. Just right here on his shins. And that's where they will live. And there we go. And now we can commence. So starting with the bacular region, we're just going to take these panels here and open them up. We're then going to untab the shoulders. Just rock these down like so. Once you do that, you can take this entire chest assembly and just rock this down like that. Then you're going to take this panel here that his head is on. You're going to rotate this entire thing back just like that. And once you have done that, you can kind of get the arms up out of the way. You want to take the waist and just rotate it 180 like so. Once you've done that, take the section and just bring that down just like that. And now for the feet, they're on a double hinge here, so you just want to bring it back and then just push it up so everything is sitting flush there. Second verse, just like the first, just bring and up and just push that back, rock it up so everything is sitting nice and flush. Then you can take the legs and tab them together like so. And once you've done that, you want to take the legs, rotate them up at the hips. And all of that will meet right there. And we pretty much got the front of the truck all done. And now for the back of the truck, we're going to take this whole section here. You want to get the arms kind of up and out of the way for now. You got to bring this down and you have this tab right here, which will go into the slot right up in there. So I'm just line that up and push that in and that'll just snap into place right there. Once you've done that, you want to take the arms, you want to take the forearms and rotate them in and then take the fist and rotate that back up. So second verse is like first, just rotate that in, rotate the fist back up. And now you're going to bring this brown section in, you're just going to angle it in, and then take the elbow, bring it in, and you have a tab which will go into that slot right there, that bottom slot. And line all that up, push all that in, and all that should sit flush. And all that should be sitting just like that. And again, second verse is like the first, just rock that in. Bring all this around, rock the casbah, you know how it works. Add that sitting all nice and flush, and it already did it for me, but take the two sides here, and they will just clip together, just like that. And that is how you want that looking, right there. And now we're at the home stretch. Just take these uh, door panels here, just bring them down. There's a little lip that that will sit over, so just make sure that is sitting as it's supposed to, like that. Bring that around, bring that down. And make sure everything's sitting nice and flush. And last thing to do is just add his accoutrement. You take the, uh, the murderer wheel here and you just plug that into the back. The hook section, you can see it's offset. You wanna plug it into this port. So that way it is nice and centered. You can kinda of do what you want with the hook, angle it however you wish. Take the exhaust pipes, we're going to plug into these ports here on either side. So plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, and there you go. There you have Scrap Hook in his alt mode. Good spin, good spin. But there he is in his alt mode, and I think it looks quite good. A nice, you know, just Mad Max looking truck, and I do quite dig it. I really dig it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. That's the details. You got the front grille. It's done in a dark gray. Got some bits of orange there, some orange spikes going on. 
Got the orange rims. Uh, the tires are separate parts from the rims, as you can see. That's how that works here with this figure, the front and the back. And of course, you have more ports here that you can plug weapons onto. You have ports right here you can plug weapons onto. You have a port right up top you can plug weapons onto. Even these exhaust pipes do have an extra port on the inside. So again, you can kind of orient things how you want and plug even more stuff on them, like detail here with the, with the cage around the windshield and windows. Oh no, I think it's a pretty cool design. You got the murder spare tire going on back there. There is the top, there is the bottom. Everything is pretty well concealed. I mean, you kind of see the fist from the top, but all in all, not too bad. He rolls as rolling things should, hooray. Hooray for rolling. Man, for comparison, here he is with Earthrise Prime. And here he is with Regnar and Junk Keep. And yeah, I know, it, 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 yeah, it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense at the same time. But hey, more Junkions. So <laughs> there you go. So that is basically it for the alt mode. So let's get down to transformation again. Shall we let's because he is a weaponizer also. That's right. We still got the weaponizer gimmick and that makes me happy. So happy. Yay get back here so what we need to do is we need to start uh ripping them apart so just take these door panels here bring them up also we need to remove the accoutrement so remove the hook remove the murder wheels remove the exhaust pipes put that off to the side for now and you want to now take this whole front section of the truck and just pull this out just unpeg it like so Split it, and you do want to remove these little blasters here. Just get up in here and remove those, remove those, and put all of this off to the side for now. Now, as far as the back of the truck goes, we're just going to split this, just unfold the arms, and we're going to just remove the arms entirely, like so. And at this point now, we can just close all this back up. Multi tabs and slots here for that to go into. We can close this up, and all of this will just sit off to the side. And now the arms are going to become new shoes, so all we have to do here is just take the forearm and rotate it out. Just rotate that out, like so. Make sure these posts are straight up, and that is ready to go. And now we'll bring in our lovely assistant hotshot to help us model all this. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take these and plug these onto the bottoms of his feet, like so. And that will make his new shoes. We're going to bring in these blasters and they will plug in to the side of his legs, like that. And we got that going on. And next up, we're going to bring in these and give him some mega shoulders. And these are going to just plug in to the sides, like so. And like so. Get that in place. And we're going to bring in the uh, exhaust pipes here. And they will plug in right there. And right there. Just like that. And last thing to do is just give him the hook. He will hold that in his hand. I mean, per the instructions, that's how they want you to do it, but you can pretty much orient this stuff however you want. That's all fun of the weaponizers. Take the murder wheel, plug that into his other forearm, and there you go. There you have Scrap Hook in his weaponizer mode. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I absolutely love this gimmick. I love this play pattern because it adds playability to all of your other figures, and that will never be a bad thing in my mind, ever. Now, one thing that does kind of suck is that there's nothing really to do with this. You can't really, there's nowhere to plug this onto. There's no pegs anywhere, so I don't know what you can do with that. Wedge it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> nothing you can really do with that. I don't know. I mean, if we really want to, if we want to, if we want to get a little morbid or something, you know, we can always just say it's just kind of a, you know, hot shot, you know, extreme times call for extreme measures. And he just kind of, you know, just kind of ripped the poor dude apart. He was like, look, man, I need this. He's like, boy, he's like, but help me though. 
What did you do? Sorry, I gotta go into battle. You need this. I need this more than you do. Bye. You come back here, you little son of a... So there you have Scrap Hook, and uh, yeah, cool figure in my opinion. I do quite like him. Again, I love the weaponizer gimmick. That is never anything I will talk bad about, because again, why would you talk bad about something that ups the playability of, like, everything? So, you know, always gets a thumbs up from me. Robot mode looks pretty good. The alt mode, I think, looks really good. Love the look of the alt mode. He transforms without parts forming, which is new for a weaponizer, and I'm sure that'll make a lot of people happy. And we got some more Junkions, so we can grow our Junkion army. So all in all, I am very, very pleased with this guy, so... There you go! Now, I picked this up from Robot Kingdom, but of course you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Scrap Hook. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face. No, oh, hey, never seen you around here before. You must be a new one. Another junkie on, I presume? Well, I saw this bone in half. Um, and the John Goody? Okay, you're scaring me way more than the others. I'm gonna go now. Eliminate even the toughest stain! Ah.